What's up, y'all? I'm Rob. I'm Rishon. And, and this, this is Learn, Learn Hustle, Hustle Grow. Grow. Hey, guess where we are? In St. Lucia for our 13th anniversary. We just got here and we're about to walk into our room. And this guy here is Hello, Fabian. Everyone. That is our butler and he's about to show us around in there. So let's go check it out. All right, Fabian. Take it away, buddy. Okay, everyone, welcome to your new home for the next few days, okay? Yes. All right. Right over here is our hideaway section, other section, no kids allowed. So you could come down there early enough, get some towels. So right there, right? Yes, no sir. kids allowed there. No kids awesome. allowed. Awesome. So it's on a first come, first serve basis. Okay. So you just push your towels down in the beach or in the cabana and it's going to remain reserved for you for, your, for the rest of the day. Okay. Okay. All right. You also have the main beach area right there which you can also access. But all the way down main. to the bench, we have the diamond section. That's the diamond club which you could also access to your way, okay? All right. We do have nine restaurants on resorts, and most of our restaurants are walk-ins, except for one, which is the Saints, you gotta do a reservation for. Okay. All your reservations are gonna be taken care of by us, personally, me and Sasha, okay? All right. We hope that you have a wonderful stay with us, and we're here to help you enjoy to the fullest. Awesome. Thank you, Fabian. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, we are here in St. Lucia, y'all. We have really enjoyed the sounds of the ocean. Yes. It's been an amazing trip. And now we are going to take you guys on a tour of the Royalton St. Lucia Resort. That's right, let's go. These are the snacks that are always available to the uh, hideaway, hideaway guests. guests. They so. actually change from morning to afternoon to evening yeah. and have the best lattes. They got the bomb good. latte. I don't know what that is, but I love it. I wish I could take that home. I'm the best person That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. They're gorgeous. Of course, that's where you get the towels and or that area. Excursions there. Yes. 
on that, that's the beach view right here. Oh, this is called the Aquarius Bar, and uh, this is where everybody hangs out at night to get those drinks. You just want to you know, pick it for a while. They play the music or whatever. This was actually the only location on the resort that had a drink menu. Now, in my opinion, that's a great way to save money for the resort. Yeah. If you go into a restaurant and they don't have a drink menu, they say they have wine and beer, that's what you order unless you have a signature drink that you order everywhere. Yeah. So they are saving a ton of money on liquor. Yep, and this location is also only for hideaway guests. that hang out okay so that's where our rooms are right there right off the water see now there are swim up rooms over there uh, in that area Rob just pointed to but you can see that they are elevated yeah so they're yeah they're right there on the ocean but right. you're viewing the ocean from that spot Oops, hope so got you Now there's a restaurant directly underneath us and it is the seafood, seafood restaurant on the resort. We dined there the first night and you are actually viewing the ocean while you're eating dinner. So let's go by there. Yeah, yes, it's down. This is the Hideaway Beach. Oh. So this is the restaurant we dined at on our first night, Dorado Seafood and Grill. Yep, sit right there. Yep. Bar over there. Right on the water. Yes, and this is the Hideaway Beach directly in front of us. Yep. So this space is reserved for Hideaway guests only. And Hideaway, by the way, is the adults only portion of uh, the Royal Tour. Yes. We are approaching the main beach area for yeah. all guests. It's the main beach here. We just left from the hideaway area, so we're gonna go this way. All right, so we're gonna go left. Oh, stay to the right or to the left here? Stay to the right. There's another bar. Another bar here. Let's see all of the buildings around until you get to ours, way, way over there, remember? Yeah. Adults only right here, so. This is the main pool main pool right there. So just go around with that. Can you get the whole pool? Another bar. That's actually the hideaway pool. Okay, yeah, it's the hideaway pool, that's right. And swim up bar. Yes. That's the hideaway over that side and the main back over there. Alright. Okay, so these are the hideaway buildings that are not on the ocean. These are the building three and two. I'm not sure how they named that, but, and then of course, the ocean front, right? What does that mean? So that's where they are having special events. Last night we saw a wedding reception take yep. place up there. And it looks like they are setting up for an event now. Yes, right there. They told us there would be, you know, two or three weddings during our stay here. That's on top of the uh, Italian restaurant, by the way. Yep, we'll see that in just a moment. Yep. Grassy. <laughs> Morning. Hey, hey. Morning, you love me Oh, thank you. It Thank you. Social bunny. All right. So, where are we going now? The resort is immaculate. They do a great job at keeping it clean, mm -hmm. and we love all the tropical flowers and trees. Yes. We're getting ready to pass the second main pool area. Yep. So what you guys will see is there are plenty of deck chairs near the pool. Plenty. See right here? That's the second. Yeah. I think if you want to be in the pool, there's no problem. What everybody wants is to be in the ocean. And Indeed. have the chairs closest to the water. Right. Look how big that is. Two, lay two levels right there, right? Yep. All right, so there is the kids area here. 
honestly, if I were a kid, I would love that. Yeah. Not many kids here, though, actually. Yeah. Not... We're here in April. Yeah, we're here in April, so maybe most of them are still in school. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's just dead end. Okay. Yeah, that's the kids' area right there, so. All right, guys. So when we booked our reservation, we actually booked not only the hideaway, but also the dining club. Yes. So what are your thoughts on that, David? Uh, so we were talking, we, we just don't know if both of them are worth it because the hideaway you get so much, right? Yeah. Now the Diamond Club, it gets you a butler. There's, yeah, a butler and there's no restriction. You can come over to the Diamond Club side or you can stay over to the uh, the hideaway side if you're just hideaway. So that's the but thing. There is a little bit of a walk from hideaway to yeah. Diamond Club. Yeah, yeah. Now in the Diamond Club buffet area, what you'll see is that they actually, or well, you might not see, but you have hot food items in the Diamond Club. Uh, Lounge, okay. where you don't have that in the hideaway. Right. But we kind of got up and went to the buffet every day and really enjoyed that. So yeah. I don't know what if that was a big enough benefit to pay for Diamond Club. Yeah, most of the things we got in the hideaway, we're, we're, we're good with already. Yeah, so uh, in our opinion, if you're going to do Diamond Club, that's great if you have a family and kids yes. and you want a higher level of luxury mm -hmm. because they do allow kids to participate in the Diamond Club each. But if you're Delta, we are doing Hideaway. No need to pay the extra fee yeah. for Diamond Club yeah. access. I, I wouldn't even really come over here, you know, for unless they, you know, had something. But everything's pretty much the same. So right, there are no special events for Diamond Club. There are additional discounts, but you also get a Hideaway discount. So. Right. Let's carry on. All right, so we are headed to the Diamond Club beach and yes. pool area. Yes. There's a towel area and of course the hangout for the You'll see that each area actually has its own pool, yeah. hot tub, towel area, and full service bar. Yes. yes. If you can't get into the highway, then definitely Di Diamond Club is the next best thing. Because it's kind of smaller. The, 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 hide the hideaway is kind of exclusive, right? It's kind of smaller. So and, and it's all adults, right? So if you want the higher end luxury and you got the kids with you, then boom, this is the area to be. Great photo location right here, the hangout spot, right? Be careful there, mama. Look at them waves hit. <laughs> Look at that view! The seaweed. Yeah, we have seen them come and clean the seaweed actually from the beach. Yep. They come by, yo, so it, it has a small seaweed problem. Yeah, they come by every morning and they rake up the seaweed to clean off the beach so, you know, we can enjoy it a little more. But it comes back every night. <laughs> right. Check it out, they got a food truck. We didn't even know about this. Because it's in the kids here. Oh, yeah, it's right by the kids area. That's probably why. Okay, so now we are getting towards the restaurant area here. Uh, yeah, there's only one restaurant over near the hideaway, and that was the Dorado we showed you, but the rest of the dining facilities are over here in the main hotel. Yes. It's a nice little walk for us, but... We need it. We've been eating <laughs> our behinds off. Yeah, we've been eating good. We've been eating really good, so... 
Okay, so that, oh, down there in that area, that's the medical facility that we were talking about earlier. That, uh, as well as the gym and the spa. Yep, we'll and the gym and the spa. Yeah. Check oh. that out. Okay, yep. So this is the main cafeteria right there. Yeah, Rob has a full photo, a full video of that. So yeah. you guys will get a chance to see the cafe. Another bar in here. Check it out. That's at usually night, open, yeah. At night, and there's here. a DJ hanging out in here. Oh, look at the stage. Now you see the stage in here. Ah, and that is a stage where the night entertainment happens. It's usually pretty low key. Yeah. I want to yeah. say that it is primarily 80s and 90s music. And last night they actually did a kids event. I don't know. We didn't go up here. Uh, we were looking at it yesterday. You want to check it out? Yeah. So ah. Oh, they got shopping. Year 27. What's that there? Oh, this must be the main lobby. It is. This is the main lobby where you will check in if oh. you are not in hideaway. Oh, yeah. Since we were hideaway, we did not check in here. We checked in, you know, over there. So I guess this is the main lobby for the main side and everything that's going over here. It's okay. Beautiful. Yeah, this is pretty. Nice. Let's go check this out. Uh, you come in, probably come in in there. Ooh, fancy chairs. Uh, yep, there's the reception area. You probably check in right there. Oh, another cafe. Wow. What? Course excursions. Yeah, let's take peek inside the slam. Yeah. Oh, you probably got that coat on. Put the mask on. Oh, look, you have the wedding. Oh. So if you are going to have your wedding here, this is where the wedding plan Yes. Oh, yeah, one thing we gotta say. So if you have to, uh, if you're gonna go inside one of the buildings, then you're supposed to wear your mask as of right now. This is April 2022, 20, the 28th, 29th, something like that. Yeah, right now they're still getting them. You still have to wear the mask when you walk inside any of the uh, restaurants. So. This is orange pineapple ice cream and red velvet cake. That's amazing. And what you got? What you got? With the pound cake and chocolate ice cream. That's right. Oh. 
and this red velvet is banging. How you like those, baby? It's good. <laughs> she wasn't ready, y'all. Purple chairs calling, she says. Oh. <laughs> I just just the camera sound. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go down to the restaurant area, so you can see the rest of the restaurants. We didn't know it was up here, so. Oh, we came down too far, y'all. So we uh <laughs> just decided to show you the spa. Okay. Yes, sir. To your right, you find your restrooms. Oh, it's, it's, it's. To your left, your showers. Your yeah. showers. Okay. This is all the men's house, right? Yeah, they also Cool, cool, cool. So you can find the sauna. The same Ooh, sauna. Same room. Oh, nigga, ice. That's right. Snacks over there? Yes. Drinks? Alright. All <laughs> <laughs> people in here. Oops. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So this is one of our massage rooms. Okay, massage room. All right. Also, Hello. <laughs> awesome. Is that the bathroom over here? So, oh yeah, that's what it is right there. It is hot tub time. It's called hydrotherapy. Get one hour a day as part of the dining hall. Yes. One hour a day. With any stop. This is called hydrotherapy, they say. It looks like it's beating my wife up, so I'll go over there and uh, see if it can knock some kinks out of my back. I don't know. <laughs> ah, refreshed and rejuvenated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to uh, our area and we're gonna go and show you guys like that little private beach area right in front of the. Um... I'm gonna try to get him to take a longer walk on the beach. He's Wait. talking about just showing you the hideaway beach. Which yeah, is the very hideaway, small, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a much bigger beach and if we could just walk across the bay. Uh, it won't burn too bad. Let go. <laughs> All right. So there is the gym. Looks like nobody's in there. What? So good time to check it out. The kids club. I'm not concerned with that. And, and he's <laughs> back. Can't shake this guy. <laughs> he said, do the tours. Do the tours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we are going to actually see the restaurant. Depending on how Rob edits this, you guys will notice we took a slight detour when we found that coffee shop yeah. and gelato. <laughs> All right. All right. Back around. Oh, yeah. yeah. The food, the spa, the medical center, the gym, it's all in one area. Yes. In the main resort. You walk through this already. Okay. So we we went up those stairs, but this time we're gonna walk through where the rest of the restaurants are. And all the restaurants are to the right. Yes. Start here with Calypso, Calypso. the West Indian cuisine. West Indian. And it's right 
right next to the culinary experience. Did we try to actually yet? pay for the culinary experience. That's an extra fee. Yes. We didn't uh We ate there. Oh we did. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been eating a lot. All right. Tex Mex. Oh, we have not eaten there, I know. We have an abundance of Tex Mex in Texas. Yeah, yeah we got we got a lot of Tex Mex, so we have not. We've been leaving that for last. If we uh I doubt know. we'll eat there. Yeah, we might not get there. We've got the steakhouse. We yeah, did have this there. was it was great. It was we sat there and that is called the Hunter Steakhouse. And this is where we're having dinner tonight here at Zen. At Zen. It's like a hibachi, right? It is Japanese hibachi and, and yeah. sushi. And it's right there. Are we at the end of the road? I think we are. These are the buildings for the main resort right yep. over here. They got shopping right here. Of course, you can buy shades and dresses. Oh, yeah. and There's all definitely stuff, a little so. bit of retail on the property. Yeah. But you know how it is. Retail on a property is going to cost you. And not a little. It's going to cost you a lot. That's right. This ain't Amazon. Here it is. And say. Oh, the jewelry store is open today. Yes, and they put all the stuff out. Mm -hmm. You know, when they open, huh? Yep, it was closed when yeah. we arrived. And if you want to book a professional photo shoot. Yep, professional photo shoot right there. Beautiful, a lot of beautiful flowers. Right here. This is where we're gonna go to lunch today at Grazi. Yes. We'll let you guys know how it is. Snapper and gnocchi and lasagna. First time we've been on the uh, actual beach, y'all. <laughs> We've been looking from afar, hitting the pool and stuff, but you know, check it out. What you got, man? You good? Yes, what sir. Where do you live? Tomorrow morning. Leave tomorrow? So yeah. you organize your airport transfer, A boy? Yeah, 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 everything's already set. Everything good to you? Yeah. yeah. All right, nice. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy the island, all right? All right, man. What, oh, what do y'all do over there? You want to tell You want to tell the people what you do? We do all the fun experiences, boy. Booker. Don't tell them what you do, boy. What, what you do, Booker? Yeah, I do the speedboat tour, also the land tour. So okay. Riding, zip lining, in ATVs. And also the speedboat, the speedboat tours of the island. Okay, speedboat. Oh, when okay. You the island, you come to your boy, Booker Booker, number one. That's right. So you got your boy Slim as well, yeah? All right. <laughs> the one counting the money, the one with all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just got got half her dress. Swim <laughs> cover up. All right, y'all. So this is the Hideaway Beach right here. It's the private area for this building right here. Ooh, somebody wet. <laughs> so you can kind of come down here and then hang out there, but only if you got the hideaway, it's exclusive access. So. All right, we're gonna go check out this uh, hideaway grill right next to the hideaway. It's like a lunch area that we can get every day if you are booked here at the hideaway. You feel me? What's up, fellas? Hey, what's, hey, up? what's, what's up, man? What's up? What's All right, what y'all got going here? Uh, welcome to the Rada, you know, we have Nachos, we have a veg wrap, we have a fried plantain, it's okay. sweet, it's good. We yes, sir. We have a jerk chicken wrap, we have a rib, jerk chicken ribs. Oh. I mean, it's spicy, but it's good. Jerk we chicken ribs? Oh, I'm gonna have to ribs. try that, okay. You're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. I mean, uh, the lady's gonna love it. Oh, 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 oh yeah? <laughs> a fried chicken, that's just gonna love more. Yeah. Fried chicken, and we have a onion ring. Okay, I think I'll give me probably one of everything. Yeah. Also, I mean, in this one right over there, we got a cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. Barbecue sauce. Okay. Yeah, that's, so, uh, what does that go on? 
That, oh, so the barbecue sauce, I know where that and goes. The sauce, the chicken, the melted cheese. Yeah. That is for the nachos, fries. Okay. I mean, sometimes I have them on here, it's a <laughs> okay, and I'm all right, all right, and I'm talking, and I'm talking to who? Jamal. Jamal. Simali. Simali. And Albert. Yeah, all right. Thanks, and uh, we about to get this lunch on. So, man, what y'all know about them jerk ribs? I have never had jerk ribs. Mmm, mmm. Can't let y'all see me devour this. All right, guys, we want to give you guys some travel tips yes. and some feedback on our experience. Yes. Let's start with travel time. It took just over six hours to get from DFW to St. Lucia. Dallas, yes. Yes, with a layover in Miami. And the layover time we didn't include. We only included the flight time in that yeah. six hours. Six the layover. Six and a half hours. Yeah. Layover, layover was another 45 yeah. minutes to an hour. Right, right, right. Um, so then we, yeah, so we did three hours there, then three hours from Miami, right, you said? To St. Lucia. Now, oh yeah, so what about the, all right, so once we got to St. Lucia. So once we, uh, before we arrived, we planned our airport pickup. Yes, oh yeah. And we planned an expedited. Um, customs? Ex yeah, we planned to be, ex to be expedited through customs. Yeah. Which means we paid an additional fee so we wouldn't have to wait in line, yeah. basically. And it was quite fast. It was quite it fast. Was. We skipped I, a big line. I will say, however, the person wasn't just waiting for us to escort us through customs, right? right? They were waiting for several a other group. people. And so we did wait. We just didn't wait in a line. Yeah. We kind of just stood off to the side as yeah. the other people deplaned. Overall, we did pass many, many people. So it, I, I think it was worth it. You think it was worth it? Yeah, I still oh, think okay. it was good. Okay, cool. Then we had the ride. Right? Yep, so we had a QR code to scan when we arrived, letting our driver know that we were at the airport. Mm -hmm. However, when we booked it, we also gave them our flight number and our arrival time. Yeah. So I was actually hoping that they would be at the airport when we arrived. Yeah. After we scanned the QR code, a woman at the taxi stand stood with us and we waited uh, 15 minutes before yeah, our driver minutes. showed up. Yeah. Okay, so then after we got the taxi ride. Well, she, let's talk about the taxi ride a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah. So taxi in the U.S., you know, we traditionally, it says taxi on it. It looks like an old beater. This is a pretty decent car, right? Yes, it, was it wasn't sedan. actually, yeah, it wasn't a taxi, like a yeah. yellow cab. It was a car, and it was just a driver. It's like a driver in a car. So. Yeah, it was a black car, kind of an SUV. Yeah, like, uh, maybe like a, a Scion or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So it was nice. Okay. It was a nice, comfortable ride, and it was a private taxi, guys. Yes. It, we, no other people yeah. right now when we have done all inclusives in the past we have booked group yeah uh, vans. transportation yeah, yeah yeah but post covid i think a lot of the services are now offering private for what we felt was uh, a reasonable price right. and the vans say we didn't like that because they stop at several yes. uh resorts and you might it might take hours to get to your destination so if you're cool with that then you know it's, and it's cheaper but, you know, we wanted the private ride, so. Yeah, that was really nice. And it was 90 minutes from the airport Ooh. to our resort without any stops. Yes, that was a drawback. Yeah, so if we would have had like a group van, 90 minutes to get our, to our resort, on top of being in a group, that would have been, it would have been terrible, so. Yeah. Um, and what about the roads? Yeah, roads. That was Rob's favorite part. Yeah, the roads were, they kind of went in like an S. Like an S and... Uh, it no. was windy all the way up. Yes. I could feel it immediately. And yeah, since we'd yeah. woken up so early to get our flight, we oh, woke up at 2.30. Yeah. <clears throat> I just laid my head back and went to sleep. That's yeah. the best thing to do if you can. If you are a person with car sickness, mm -hmm. man, beware. Take some Dramamine. I, yes. I, it's funny, I thought about it and I was like, I, you know... I, I, I thought about it for boats, and but I did not think about it for, for the for car. The but if I had to do it again, St. Lucia is just one of those. It's just the way it is. Uh, you, you can't know. get around. It's actually yes. only one row in and out, yes. and it's winding, very winding all the way, all the way. Up and all the way down. And some islands, I've never seen this in an island, but it, everybody's unique. And St. Lucia's got windy roads, so be prepared anywhere you got to go. And oh, and we did ninety minutes because it's just it was just our resort location, right? right. Some people had forty five minutes. We talked to people at the airport, and they had forty five minutes of their you know it just depends on which one you want to go to and you know we just didn't account for that right but this we, was our second royal yeah we wanted to be we really royal wanted to try another royal yes, after yes. having such a great experience and it was in great Antigua. it's great so yeah. we just got to worry about that ride right so 
Okay. You guys have seen how beautiful the resort is. Yes. However, there are always going to be some challenges. Royalton continues to be a solid four-star resort. Yeah. But we'll tell you some of the challenges we ran into. Okay. We're going to start with arrival. Um, arrival here? When, yeah. Okay. So when we were dropped off here at the resort, we received these wristbands. Everybody gets oh, yeah, a yeah. bracelet. Yeah. And that bracelet That's lets good. the staff know what parts of the resort you With actually the round have thing, yeah. access to. Right. And the one we have is both Diamond Club and where are we? Oh, hideaway. The hideaway. Hideaway. Yeah. <laughs> so the adults only portion. Yes. Now they share with you when you arrive that you will pay thirty dollars per day. A day. Per person if you lose this wristband. Don't lose that wristband. <laughs> and unfortunately, from the time we got the wristband, it continued to fall off my wrist yes. every couple of hours. Yes. It just wasn't secured properly. Right. And at one point, we thought we lost it. Yes. So we called, uh, we contacted our butler yeah. via WhatsApp to let him know. Right. And he promptly let us know, sorry, there's nothing he could do for right. us. We needed to go to the hideaway desk and get a new one. Yeah. Fortunately, Rob found it. It right. came off here in the room. So the best thing to do is get it secured with it. a metal piece. Yeah, get and it clamped. Yes, you want to get it clamped you see on. That? that way you are not dealing with the possibility of it fa falling yeah, off yeah. the way it did when they just tied mine with knots. Yeah, because this is a stringy polyester type of material mm -hmm. and it, it'll it'll loosen no matter how many knots you put it in. It, it'll it, it'll come off. loose, so yeah. Yeah, especially during massage. Yes, yes. But before we get on to the massage, let's talk about the butler experience. Okay. So you are actually assigned two butlers. Yes. And we communicated with our butler uh, via WhatsApp. WhatsApp we yeah. met the first gentleman. Uh, we met we met the gentleman on the first day, yeah. and so we got his contact info. Yeah. We never actually had the contact info for the young lady. That was our mistake. Yes. Yeah. We should have got we, made sure we had both. We honestly, what I think is that the butler should have created a group chat, including. Yeah. Yeah. both parties right yeah because yeah. they're not on staff at the same time so yeah. when one yeah. of them is off the other is on they alternate yeah and if we had had a group chat we would have had consistent access to services yeah i assume that they both had the same number it was like a phone and they a work phone that they gave it and that's mm -hmm. we, we've experienced that's that the way before it was in the past in other places but no it was their personal phone so right. we should have got both, both personal phone numbers because you know when uh, we needed to make a request for a reservation change, we would yeah. work through the butler. Yes. And unfortunately, uh, the butler we had was off work, and rather than refer ra rather than refer our request on to the young lady who was on staff, yeah. he simply was like, "I'm sorry, I'm not there." I'm not working, so yeah, <laughs> not cool. Yeah, so we thought <laughs> that was a little off. Yeah. But other than that, they did a great job at helping us celebrate our anniversary yes. experience. Yeah. They yeah. decorated the room. You saw that decoration. It that was, was a, lovely. It was amazing. That was yes. amazing. We had a great bubble so, bath. I yeah. mean, they must have poured the entire bottle of bath <laughs> into that water. Yeah. Because was a good, good bubble those bath. bubbles lasted yeah, hours. all day. We, yes. I mean, we, we couldn't get rid of the bubbles. There were bubbles <laughs> everywhere. We appreciate that. We yes. appreciate that. So okay. that was lovely. Cool. So moving on from the from that experience, maybe to, uh, dining. Yeah. Okay. All the food has been good. What do you think? Wow. Are? Yes. Yes. It's been it's been definitely above average. Like there's resort food, especially all inclusive. A lot of times they're just not that great. Man, tell about your cakes, your muffins and stuff. She loves her muffins. The lattes here. Mwah. Oh, yes. we, we mentioned that. I'm sure we mentioned that earlier. We've had amazing lattes. Yes, we are yes, they got lovers it. of milk-based coffee lattes, right. we, cappuccinos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, We've got the machine at home because we love it so much. Yeah. But they did a great job with that here. Okay. So we did an excursion. Ah, yeah. Um, so we arrived on Monday. We did an excursion yeah. on Wednesday. And that's a separate video, a by the way. Day. Yeah, yeah it's like a separate six video. hours. Yeah. Yes, yes. And one of the things we didn't know until our driver arrived was that when you are in town for the excursions, you need all cash. Oh, yes. yes. Everything needs yes. to happen with cash. The entrance fees into the places yep. that you visit, right. the tips, any yep. items you decide to purchase as far yep. as... Um, Taking it as far as supporting the locals when they sell their goods, all yep. cash. Yep. And we just didn't know that, so we didn't have enough cash on us. Right. We just barely had enough. How much think you, how much you think you need? If, about a hundred dollars in cash. For a couple? Yes. Yeah, for a couple you need about a hundred bucks. Like fifty bucks for yourself. Because I remember that like, depends on right, right. If what you're you gonna plan do. on spending on items, right? We didn't buy right. anything. No. We spent over eighty bucks between food, activities, and tips. 
Well, what about entrance fees? Yeah, that's yeah. activities. Oh, activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had to sometimes you had to pay to get in certain things like the waterfall or the mud bath, you had whatever. To get in everything. Yeah, like fifteen bucks. So be prepared. Each one of those places, just just imagine. Like, and these you know, are U.S. dollars. So when yes, I say you need a hundred dollars, not a local money. US. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. So and I'll, okay, so back to the to the rooms. Just recap. We are in the hideaway side, right? The hideaway is an adult only. And it's on the beach. The rest of the buildings are not on the beach. They're, you know, some of them are kind of overlooking. They're pushed back a yeah, little pushed further. back. Look, this one's right on the beach. It's the only one, right? Building one. Yeah. Is, is it building one? Because there okay. are multiple hideaway buildings. Okay, there okay, was, I yeah. Think three. Okay, we're it's in three. building one. Okay, and this is the one. And from what I understand, there were a lot of people trying to get the beachfront, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody's looking up here, right? When they're down there walking yes. on the beach. Everybody fights for the, you know, the lay, what do you call it? Those, uh, um, layout chairs or whatever mm -hmm. every morning. We don't need to do that because we're already right here and we just come out on our patio, yeah. and which is amazing. And we are not laying out in the sun. Totally, totally worth the you money. You don't keep this youthful skin laying out in the sun <laughs> for hours at a time. Yeah, we love the room. It's very big, very spacious. We love the bed. I mean, usually it's hard for me to sleep when I'm away from home. This bed and these pillows were amazing. Yeah, amazing. So showers at two rain uh, shower yeah. heads inside the shower two of them so and a handheld shower device yeah. which i used to wash my hair while we were right. here and i love those i want yeah. to get one installed yeah so house. i mean if you if you are an adult only with no children here definitely come to the hideaway side definitely get the ocean front if you can uh and then if not then at least try to get the uh what do they got i want to look ocean view on uh the um other side on the diamond club on side. the diamond club side only yeah. We mentioned entertainment, pretty low key. Yes. This is not a resort where you come party. to party. No, no. Just a place where Just you come chill. and relax. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we had like a singing lady. Uh, she sang, you know, some of the classic songs, you know, yeah. uh, on a stage, and yeah, that was, was that was vocalist, nice, yeah. you know. So like some of the like nineties. She had a band with her. It was a yeah, live band, band, live band. And tonight they're supposed to have a DJ. DJ said something about fire too, right? Yeah, those are a little <laughs> earlier. They're gonna have yeah. some entertainment. Some up fire there. entertainment. We'll so. probably be at dinner during that time. Okay. We have kind of gone over everything we can think of at this point. Yeah. And uh, we would highly recommend the Royals in St. Lucia. Yes, we love it here. So we are sad to see uh, to go home. We're leaving tomorrow, but you know, got to get back to the grind for our next vacation. <laughs>